What is up guys, Red Stack here. Today's video we're going to be going through the installation of Project Diablo 2, a Diablo 2 mod created by Senpai something. Now you may have seen this mod on Twitch or online, um, and to me this mod is really the Diablo 2 expansion that we wanted but never got. There are so many character rebalances, quality of life changes, end game content for you to enjoy. Now this will all be covered in another video, so stay tuned. Uh, in the meantime, let's get straight into the installation and get you started on your PD2 journey. So first things first, I'm going to assume that you already have Diablo 2 installed. Uh, if you don't, you can purchase these off of Battle.net around 10 to 12 pounds, euros, dollars each, depending on where you're from. Uh, at the time of this video was made and once you've installed these make sure you install these on English language Otherwise the mod won't work However, assuming you've already got it installed head over to project Diablo 2 go to download and click download again Now my browser uh, kept on blocking this thinking it was harmful, but we want to say keep there will be other ways uh, depending on which browser you're using keep anyway and then we show in folder or you can click it there and click the Project Diablo 2 installer. Now Windows will try and block this as it's an unrecognized app. We just click more info and run anyway. Click yes. And this is where it will remind you of what I mentioned earlier. It requires a clean uh, Project Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction installation in the English language. Any other language will cause it to crash. Click OK. Now you have to locate the uh, where your vanilla Diablo 2 is installed. My favorite way of doing this is going to open file location and copy and paste the address here. Then click install. It may need to install some other Microsoft packages to work. Um, and here it will tell you that you must create an in-game account on the Project Diablo 2 website. If you haven't done this already, you can click yes, create your website account and your in-game account. And uh, now Project Diablo 2 should be installed. Here we have it on our desktop. Now, one thing I would notice here, it automatically is saying run as administrator, but if you're having problems with starting up, right click and click run as administrator. When you first click play, it will probably do some patching, which might take some time. Uh, but that's okay. And then afterwards, uh, once it's finished updating, it should automatically bring up Project Diablo 2. Uh, just very quickly, some of the options you can have here, you can choose to have it windowed or full screen, you can choose with sound or no sound, and you can also have it skip straight to Battle.net. So we have it in full screen mode and skipping straight to Battle.net, where you'll see I can log into my account. And everything should be working. Uh, and additionally, uh, I'll now show you how to install the filter file and explain a little bit about what that is. So now we have Project Diablo 2 installed. There's one thing we'd like to do, which is adding a filter. Uh, the filter is really useful for helping us to uh, identify items easily. It gives notifications similar to chat when a good item drops. Now, uh, you can download the filter from the Project Diablo 2 website, or you can come into my Discord. I'll leave the link in the description. Click filter.txt. It will start to download. Uh, we'll open the file. Then we'll go file, save as, and we'll call it loot.filter. And we'll save it as all files, no longer as a text file anymore. We'll click save. Now, this is now in our desktop um, as loot.filter. So we'll navigate to our Project Diablo 2 location. Click open file location on Project Diablo 2, grab the filter and add it into the folder. Click continue, everything needs administrative permission. And now you should have your filter in game. Now to very quickly show you what the filter entails, uh, we'll go into play, we'll come out of windowed mode so you can see it full screen. Uh, now what the filter does and the reason it's important is some of the end game content has a lot of item drops. And when there's a lot of item drops, you can't see the important things. So very briefly, I'll show you what the filter now looks like. Uh, I will keep this up to date in my Discord. I'll update it weekly if there's any new updates. So you'll always be able to find the most up-to-date version there. Now what it shows, for example, is you can see when I hover over Mal rune, it says 23. That means it's the 23rd rune. It will also show like this on the floor. Full rejuvenations will show R full. And you'll also get notifications when key items drop from monsters of course you don't see it when i drop it 
But uh, that's just an example of some of it. I'll just go and kill uh, Eldrick and Shank. Just see if we get any drops so you can see the notifications. Uh, the filter is super, super useful and highly recommended. You can see here, Jewel dropped up on the top left hand side. That's based on the filter. Uh, you also get a nice notification on the map of where the Jewel is and it shows also on the ground there. Um, yeah, I highly recommend the filter. Um, I'll keep it up to date on the Discord if you want to have a look at other filter options. These are also available on the Project Diablo 2 website. So we'll just kill Shen and see if we can see some more examples of the filter working. Okay, no, no nice drops, but it still shows uh, everything in a more concise and clear view. So that concludes today's video. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to set up Project Diablo 2 yourself now uh, with the appropriate loop filter. Um, if you have any problems or troubleshooting, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you and help you out. Um, but until then, uh, I look forward to seeing you in Project Diablo 2, welcoming you to the community. Um, and feel free to join my Discord if you have any questions about Project Diablo 2. If you like this content and want to see more, Hit follow, hit subscribe, I appreciate all the effort. So until then, Red Stag out, GG.